yeah, it's your girl Cecilia or some of you refer to me as Cookie Stars in YouTube, Cookie Stars in Instagram or Kerafish in Instagram. So today I'm going to prepare your chicken vegetable soup and I'll just take you through the ingredients that I'm going to use today. Here we have oil and for your information I put it on a plate for ease of use and we have chopped onion with me, we have green pepper, we have uh, spinach leaves and then we have broccoli, we have nut butter here, we have chicken cubes, we have turmeric, we have white pepper, we have salt. So yeah, those are just the ingredients that I'm going to use while I'm preparing the chicken vegetable soup. Chicken, I put it to boil, those are four pieces of chicken and inside it I put water and I added half teaspoon of salt. So I'll just close it and let it boil for 10 minutes. So you let your pan to heat. Then later you just add like three tablespoons of oil. So when your oil has heated like that, just add your onions oil and start mix. When your one minute is over guys, just take your nut butter or your butter nut, add in the onions, start to mix and also let it cook with the onions and the oil for one minute. I'm just going now to add the ingredients and this is the chicken cube. I'll put two of them. This is turmeric guys turmeric spice. I'll just take like half teaspoon. This is white pepper spice. I'll also take like half teaspoon and add. When your ingredients have mixed like that, everything has mixed thoroughly guys. And take your broccoli and add to your cooking. Mix together, let them cook for one minute. After adding broccoli, just add your green pepper to eat like that. I told you earlier I had put uh, salt in the boiled chicken. So with here I just put a pinch of salt. Can't check your chicken. When your 10 minutes are over, it's ready. That is the chicken. So then you just take like two pieces of chicken, then try to cut small pieces, very small pieces. Take your chicken pieces, add to your cooking, and just start to mix. After you start to mix, you just take your chicken soup, the one that you had drained, and add to your cooking. Now with my spinach guys, I won't cut them in small pieces, add to your cooking, and start to make. You just give your cooking like one minute. Let it boil a little bit and it will be ready to stir. The chicken vegetable soup is ready and as I told you earlier, you can serve it with anything like rice, pilau, uh, chapati. Hey guys, so it's a holiday today and we're gonna try a healthier take on burgers and fries. We're not really gonna do fries, we're gonna do like these nice little potatoes and we're gonna do the potatoes with some roasted vegetables and then we have already 
kind of like mixed in the spices in the in the mince meat, right? You let it sit overnight. We use, I use some garlic, some thyme, some basil, some of this hamburger seasoning. We're gonna come and set the oven to 550 in the time because we want it to be really, 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 really hot. Like 50 is in Akani Mingi, but that's what the recipe says. So we want to put it on and we want it to be really hot so that we can keep the burger juicy. So you kind of find the size that you like, right? Other people grill, but I don't have a grill. So I am going to broil, right? I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Cooking time is always cut down if you just prep the night before. So you see what we did is we prepped the next meat the night before and this is going to go real quick like we're probably going to be eating in an hour or even less we're gonna get started on the potato because the meat isn't gonna take that long so what we want to do is blanch them what we want to do is blanch them uh, just so that when we put them in the oven they can cook really nice and you can get the exterior a little crispy. Okay, so while we're waiting for the potatoes to boil, we don't have a grill, we're gonna use this roasting tin, right? You you know, um, in order for the burger to be nice and delicious and fatty, fatty I would say, it really makes sense to use a mince meat that's got a little more fat in it. So you don't want a steak mix, you just want a regular chuck mix. When the heat is at 550, we're gonna put these in for exactly eight minutes. Then we're gonna flip them over and put them in for another eight minutes, so 16 minutes at total. You can see that we're doing things in intervals because we want the burger to be ready right at the end. You know, we don't want it to sit too long and dry up. So we finally have our onions, uh, sorry, our potatoes out and I'm going to ladle them. I'm going to do a nice mug potatoes and the onions. Just put a little salt in the And I'm going to sweep them down. Like this is the whole dish ready for the other dish. Okay. Is that thing that you can use to put it in? So I'm just gonna use my hand. They're hot, but I wanna get the oil everywhere. I'm just gonna cover them in a white sheet. The oven is up to 400, so we're gonna go ahead and pop into the oven on one side leaving the vegetables cut up cauliflower and these which they look like this and you, you think that they'd be turukelis right but they're actually just mini peppers and they're so good so we're gonna put all of this in here together right. and we're gonna do the same thing Salt in here. Zhuzh everything together. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this right in next to our potatoes. Give the whole thing half an hour. So I'm gonna set the timer for eight minutes. You actually put the thing, I changed my mind, I put it on broil. And we're gonna put the burgers in for eight minutes on one side, flip them over, eight minutes on the other side. We're done. I actually went in and put some cheese in. Woo! So we have our perfect 
burger. Uh, just FYI, it took a lot less than 16 minutes. And here is our first one. Woo! We put the cheese on and here. And guys, we are good to go.